Hey everyone, we're recording, we're recording, and welcome to another edition of the One Cake Movie Review. Today's movie, The Hitman's Bodyguard. I'm Stephen Leibowitz, better known as The Movie Knight. I don't have a sword yet, I just got a pen, but I'm going to get a sword one day. One Take Movie Reviews is a movie review of a movie all in one take. You probably notice other video vloggers have video reviews where there's a lot of cutting going on because they want their review to be nice and smooth. Smooth is nice, but no spontaneity, so you'll hear my ums and stutters, but this is going to be a one-take movie review of the Hitman's Bodyguard. So let's get cracking. So um, to start, I can't really tell much about the story. I only reveal stuff that you might see in the trailer, and the trailer doesn't give too much of a story away. So if the trailer doesn't give the story away, neither am I. All you got to do, you have this movie stars Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. One's a Hitman, one's a person's bodyguard, and they're on a mission. And I can't tell you more than that because I don't see more of that in the preview. So you'll never get a spoiler from me. Um, we're coming to the end of the summer movie season. It's been kind of a letdown summer once again. Um, in this case, this movie kind of follows suit. There's a lot of hype about this movie. About Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson working together. And their chemistry is fine. Not the greatest. They're good together. Um, movie has action. Movie has laughs. But not as much as promised. Um, a lot of jokes fall flat. Hey, I'm peeing in my car for, uh, in a water bottle. Um, some of the action is not as great as you, it, you would think it is. Um, the movie was directed by Patrick Hughes. Um, his big credit before this was The Expendables 3, um, the worst of those series. Actually, that movie was almost unwatchable. Um, maybe Patrick sees himself as an action director, and it's not yet. He's not there yet. That one, that first movie, Expendables 3, you know, the action wasn't delivered too well, and it's not delivered too well here either. There are some good scenes of action, and there's some good laughs. Um, there's a scene with some nuns. That's probably the best funny scene in the movie. But um, overall, it's, you know, it just became one more movie and a summer of disappointments. Um, so I give this movie two and a half swords. Um, it's a, if it over, you know what? It's a nice, mindless way to end the summer. And let's leave it at that. Um, most of these reviews are short. No need. To, and you, I sometimes see movie reviews that go 17 minutes. What the heck is that about? Who wants to watch a video that long a movie review? Did you like it? Yes, no, why? Let's hear some explanations and move on. You have you have better things to do with your day. So until next time, this is Stephen Leibowitz, Movie Night. Have a good and have a great weekend. Bye.